let's look at some ways to get the most out of the GX100. First, let's initialize a patch. Press right, press initialize, and execute. Keep in mind, this will overwrite whatever you have saved in the patch you've initialized. The divider is a great way to have two unique signal paths within the same preset. You can have switchable channel A or channel B, or dual mode, which allows you to have two separate signal paths at once. You also have the mixer, which allows you to adjust the levels of each path. You can have the divider and mixer anywhere in the signal path. Let's add a boost to channel B and a delay to channel A. Delays and reverbs will continue to trail when you switch paths, so long as you have carryover set to on. Carryover will persist between different patches, so long as you have carryover selected in the master effect block. You need to be using the same effects and the same routing of these effects in the signal chain for carryover to work. You notice by default, the divider is set to be switched by C1. Let's change that to something else. Press Control slash EXP and go to Control Settings. Find Control 1 and switch it to the function you want. In this case, let's do BPM Tap, which is Tap Tempo. This is where you would also change the function of the Control 2 button, as well as the Expression Pedal and the external foot switch jacks on the back. With Manual Mode, you can also change which effects are assigned to Manual 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's add a fuzz to the signal chain. Press Effects, Effects Palette, and drag it into the signal path. So you'll see in this case, because we just added the fuzz, it's not assigned to any of the foot switches. Press Control slash EXP and go into Assign Settings. You'll see various sources and targets. Select the fuzz as a category target and ensure the parameter is set to on off. Now the fuzz is attached to manual one so you can use the touch screen or foot switch to turn on and off the fuzz. The GX100 has 20 total assigns so you can get creative and have multiple functions assigned to the same foot switch or button. For example, I can find an open assign and assign the delay to manual one as well so that the fuzz and delay turn on and off with each other. Once you've activated your new assign, the fuzz and delay will both simultaneously activate and deactivate whether you touch the screen or by when you use the foot switch. In the effects edit window, if you hold down the corresponding knob function, it will bring you directly to the Assign window. Then simply pick a source, activate the Assign, and away you go. For more information, please visit the boss.info website. Have a great day.